How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today I'm going to be talking about a little script that was posted on the Clay forums that allows you to unravel multiple items without doing it individually. So you know, as you probably work through the Forge event, you've unlocked a lot of chests more likely than not and most of the time you'll get duplicates of uh, like emoticons or clothing items that you already have. And to go ahead and actually unravel each one uh, individually can take quite a bit of time. So now me personally, I ran this little script and as you can see, well, you can't see it here, but if you look at the console log output file, which I can bring in, uh, oh wait, you actually can see it right here in the game as well. I have 190 duplicates, which means I would have, you know, to unravel all of these duplicates, I would actually need to go ahead and click unravel 190 times. So there's a nice little alternative to this. Uh, it's a script that's used to unra uh, mass unravel duplicates over time. It's by a modder called Carl Zalf. And uh, they posted a script here that you can put inside your clay do not starve together documents folder. If you have a file called custom commands.lua, I suppose you can add this function to it. If you don't have one, simply uh, copy this text right here, paste it into a standard notepad file, and then save it as this file, custom commands.lua, inside your do not starve together folder in your documents. It's clay, it's like documents clay do not starve together, uh, then the custom commands. And I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so here you can see I have Windows Explorer open, and right here is the custom commands.lua file that I was just talking about. Uh, if we double click that, you can see it has all, it it's basically has all these functions that are, that I showed you a second ago, right here in the post. There is one thing that you should note. It, apparently, a lot of modders have uh, strict disabled by default, but a lot of players don't. So if you're a player who actually hasn't disabled strict, you're going to have to put in this little bit of col code here at the top uh, for this script to work. Uh, the script is uh, by and large open source. You can see everything it does here. So if you're uncomfortable with any of these commands, I guess, uh, then you don't have to use it, but I personally don't see anything wrong with it. I'm not a programmer by any means, but I do have a little bit of knowledge on how to use JavaScript and Python. So it's not like I'm completely illiterate as to what is going on in the script, it's just I have a little bit of difficulty uh, following all of the methods that are used because it appears that many of them are actually specific to the game and I'm not familiar with those. I don't have an IDE set up for it. Okay, so getting back to the game. Uh, once you have, like I said, once you've copied this and you have it saved in your clay do not starve together documents folder, you can go back into the game. Once you're logged in, you can press the tilde key on your keyboard and then you can go ahead and paste in uh, that function, right? So by default, uh, you can put in CZ underscore unravel, underscore all, underscore forge, underscore duplicates, uh, closed parents, right? This will show you how many items you have that can be, that are duplicates and that will be unwoven if you actually consent to doing it. So if we type, we press the tilde key here again, you'll notice it lists all of them. And if you're looking for the absolute complete list, because uh, it only shows a certain number of them here, and I do not know how to actually scroll the console uh, log here in the game up and down. I've, I've tried various keys on the keyboard, uh, common stuff in Linux like page up, page down, or ALT plus whatever, it didn't seem to work. So instead we just use the actual log that prints out. This is also in your Don't Starve Together folder, the same folder we looked at before right here. Uh, if you're interested in taking a look at the log itself, it should be under client log. That is this file right here. And as you can see, it lists all of the items that I have that are going to be unraveled, all 190 of them, right? It also lists how much I would gain. With that out of the way, we are ready to go ahead and actually unravel all of our duplicates. And we're going to copy this little line right here that says CZ unravel all forged duplicates, passing the parameter of yes inside quotation marks. So let's go over back over here to don't starve. Let's load that in, just copy paste it. Uh, opening up the command once again using the tilde uh, character on your keyboard and then just press enter. And now if we do it again, you'll notice, hey, it's popping up. It's showing you how much it sold for. Uh, keep in mind that it only sells one item. Uh, every 
three seconds, I think. But that makes sure it doesn't actually spam Clay's servers, We're essentially DDoSing their API server uh, for this marketplace. And a lot of these are being accepted. So this is really, really cool because it allows you to sell a large number, or uh, unravel, I should say, a large number of your uh, duplicate items from the forge without actually needing to click on each and every single one and unravel it individually because that can take a while like I pointed out before I had a hundred and ninety duplicate items and that that's going to take a while if you actually want to do it item by item so I really like what this script has done for me if you are interested in checking it out like I said before the link to the forum post will be in the description Look at it yourself. If you don't trust it, that's okay. Uh, I personally do trust it because I have seen the results, but you know, all, at the end of the day, I would never tell you to trust the piece, to run a script on your computer without you feeling okay with it, right? So basically what you want to do here while the script is, script is running is just maintain your place on one screen until it finishes. Uh, it's mentioned in the post that things can happen if you continue to switch menus or if you actually enter into a game or something like that so just leave this running in the background like this it's still faster than doing it manually right but it's going to take a little bit of time because the script is set up so that way it doesn't try to spam requests at clay's server for selling these things so just leave it running there on your desktop until it's finished and then you can go on and continue playing Okay, so here we are at the end of it. It says all duplicates finished trying to unravel. So let's go ahead and actually check our item collection to see how well it did. So here in our belongings, yep. It didn't sell any of the things that I had previously per, uh, owned, right? Look at the emotes, sold all my duplicates, emoticons. Very nice, sold all of those as well. Same thing with portrait frames, profile icons, and I would imagine the same for uh, the actual skins themselves, right? Yeah, so as you can see, didn't sell anything that I didn't want it to sell, and it got rid of all those duplicates, and you really didn't have to go ahead and click on every single profile icon to unravel those each for five spools or whatever, right? Right there, you can also see the number of spools that I currently have, 9,380. So that is Carl Zolf's script to mass unravel duplicates over time. Uh, go ahead and check it out if you're interested. I know this video is a little bit late, but uh, better late than never, I think. If you find it useful, um, be sure to thank them for sharing it with us. Uh, otherwise, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.